Her Excellency, uh, Paula Pavienen, um, Ambassador of, of Finland to Singapore, um, Mr. Dan Leiska, founder Eon Reality, ladies and gentlemen. Um, for, well, first of all, good morning. And on behalf of NTU and uh, our President Subra Suresh, who unfortunately, due to last minute's uh, engagement, cannot be here, um, a very warm welcome to Singapore, a very warm welcome to NTU. Um, those of you who are here in Singapore for the first time, um, really a very, very warm welcome, both literally and figuratively. So hope that you enjoy your stay here, um, even though I know you do have a very packed program. Now, NTU is absolutely delighted and honored to be able to partner Eon Reality um, in this um, Future of Education Global Summit. Um, this is something that sits right in the space of our shared vision and our <clears throat> shared mission. We are both strong believers and also adopters in technology, um, especially in technology in education. And in fact, we have partnered each other and worked quite a bit over the years on several projects and more will, will come. Um, and in particular, since Eon Reality is the world's leader in AR and VR, that's where our partnership sits to, to really bring all that um, to enhance educational experience. Now, NTU is a very young university. We were established in 1990. Oh, ah, okay, thank you. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so we are 28 years old now. But over the past uh, three decades, we have undergone massive transformation. We started off as primarily a, an educational institution that focused only on teaching. But we have since revamped our education, we have ramped up our research, we have raised our profile, and uh, as a result of that, made an impact on the world stage in education and research. We have revised our undergraduate um, education, the curriculum structure. Uh, over the years, we have provided more breadth. We have increased electives. We have adopted technology in a big way. I will share later on what we have been doing in, on some of the fronts of the technology. And then most recently, we have also incorporated experiential learning into the whole curriculum, a whole suite of um, initiatives to make sure that our students actually benefit from real experience. Well, NTU education, that's what it's called today, is shaped by four external trends, namely the first one, uh, a competitive global environment marked by rapid environment, uh, economic change and technological advancement. The second one, the social transformation that comes as a result of all this. The third, employers' expectation of our graduates in terms of what is, what is often called 21st century skills. And finally, the new learning paradigm that Dan was talking about, that you know, the, this generation, the generation um, X, Y, Z, and the alpha are very different from the way we would learn. So, and our curriculum is regularly therefore updated. Give you a, a couple of examples. Last year, uh, we introduced a compulsory computational thinking and digital literacy.
So, the, so, <laughs> so these are just a couple of examples that uh, how we have been adapting our curriculum to make it relevant. Now, NTU is also one of the first global universities to adopt um, the flipped classroom andragogy on a very major scale. We've been converting a lot of our courses into the flipped classroom model. And if you have the time, I would encourage you to also visit two of our iconic buildings called the Ark and the Hive, which are filled with uh, so-called smart classrooms. Okay, so how do, I, how do I describe them? They're flexible seating arrangements that you can rearrange to do clustered uh, discussion. But at the same time, a lot of uh, LCD screens on the wall, um, totally connected wirelessly, so that students and the instructors can do a lot of very interactive learning in the classroom. Um, one of the iconic examples of this andragogy is in our medical school. The Lee Kong Chin School of Medicine is a school, a medical school, where there are no lectures. The, all the contents delivery is done online. So as uh, our President Emeritus, Bertil Anderson, uh, always used to say, the students in our medical school learn from Professor iPad. Every one of them has an iPad. That's where they learn the content before they walk into the classroom. And during the classroom hour, the time is spent engaging in discussion, brainstorming, and the, also because of the, 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 the technology adopted, the instructor actually knows what the students understand and do not understand before they walk into the classroom. So the time is spent very meaningfully in targeted learning to enhance their understanding of the weaker areas. Very exciting. And I will encourage you to take a look if you have the time. OK. Um, beyond all this, our practice in andragogy is also um, supplemented by research and other, um, how do I call that, uh, supporting units. One of them is the uh, teaching, learning, and pedagogy division that actually uh, takes the initiative in faculty development and also uh, developing teaching and learning strategies. There is this, this unit called Cradle, the Center um, for Research and Development in Learning, that does a lot of um, learning science research. And learning science at NTU is growing very rapidly, bringing in neuroscience and our a very valuable National Institute of Education to create a, the, the right nexus between the theory and the practice. We also have a Teaching Excellence Academy that engages our faculty and provides leadership. Now, NTU is uniquely positioned to influence the entire learning spectrum in Singapore, literally from cradle to grave. I talked about NIE because that's the only institution in Singapore where all the school teachers are trained. So that's influence, the K to 12. But we also have a new National Institute of um, Childhood Development, Early Childhood Development. That is preschoolers, training the teachers for preschoolers. And then after high school, they come to us. We influence the undergraduates. And then we also have a whole suite of graduate education. And most recently, in the whole of Singapore, we have been pushing a lot of, on lifelong learning. And in particular, we have a center for professional and continuing education that sits in this space, providing a lot of adult education. So we are excited about this. We are excited about the privilege and honor given to us to be involved in this whole spectrum. And therefore, if we can engage our partners such as E.ON and other partners in enriching this whole experience, there's a real 
possibility for us to help the entire Singapore community, either directly or indirectly. So in closing, I'd like to thank um, our colleagues, well, NTU colleagues, as well as EON colleagues, uh, who have worked extremely hard to pull this off. Um, very short time span, uh, but they probably, I think people like Richie probably work like 28 hours a day just to make this happen. So thank you very much. And uh, I also understand that there's really an exciting lineup of speakers and exhibits and uh, programs for you. Um, I hope that you will take time to enjoy all that and also perhaps have uh, some time left to enjoy our beautiful campus too. So I wish you a fruitful day ahead and thank you very much.